going, girl. Hey. Hey, we need to talk. Uh, I know. I'm really sorry about last weekend. What are you sorry for exactly? You know, I'm sorry for putting Molly in your drink. Sorry for drugging you. It's okay. I'm I'm really not mad about that. Actually, I had fun. And when you told me that you had given me ecstasy, I realized in that exact moment how much fun I was having and how much I liked being on it and that stupid fucking party. I know, that party was horrible. And you fucking ditched me, but whatever. <laughs> you drugged me, so we're even. I'm really sorry. I can't believe I did that. I'm so, so sorry. So I'm not mad. But I am concerned about your well-being and how you've been using drugs and alcohol. How you've been acting lately. Yeah, I know. It's it's a problem. I'm really working on it. Girl, it's, it's getting out of hand. I'm sorry. It's fine. I, when I got to that party that you invited me to at Jeremy's house, uh, actually even before I arrived there and we were talking on the phone, finding where to meet up, you were on coke. I don't even remember noticing that you sounded any different, but I just, it just felt different like your energy was just it just was different it wasn't you yeah i know well jeremy said that he was buying coke and there you know there are all those people that were at his place and so he asked me if i wanted to get in on it and so i went in on it and i paid some money and i got to do coke and i mean i'm not doing it all the time it's not like a, a, an every night thing it just so happened that i was at Jeremy's and he was getting it and so I got it and I okay. you know and we all did it okay. and and I mean I'm not doing it every night okay. it's just something that I did once okay. like that one night and okay well, anyway I'm sorry oh, it's okay do you have to see where I was I got to his apartment and it was actually kind of funny because remember how I was telling you how I can't tell the difference between any of your straight friends? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I've seen his face all of the time and I'm still like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I met everyone and they were awesome and everyone was super hot and that blonde girl. And I loved that everyone was just getting ready to go out to that masquerade ball and so good and you were drinking a lot and I was drinking a lot and you were smoking and doing coke and I overheard someone say something about Molly but I just I didn't have any interest in it and the next yeah. thing I know you're handing me a glass of water and telling me to drink it down and I thought you were just trying to hydrate me and so I drink it and keep on going and That is what happened. Yeah. I know you're sorry, and I forgive you. And it's fine. Love, it's fine. But I don't understand why you would do that to me without asking me first. I don't understand either, and I've been trying to figure it out. You know, when I woke up Sunday morning and I texted you and I was like, I'm sorry. And I was like, I was like, could I really have done that to my friend? I mean, and it wasn't something that was, you know, a soft drug. You know, Molly is a kind of, it's kind of a big deal. You know, people really can get fucked up on it. And so when I woke up the next morning and I was thinking about what I did, 
I couldn't understand why I would do that because we have fun when we're sober. We have fun when we do all kinds of things. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you think you would have done that if you weren't drinking or on coke or on Molly yourself? Probably not. I don't know. I wouldn't have. Well, that's why you need to take a look at the shit, babe. This decision was totally erratic, and that's not you. It's something that you did because you were high. And drunk. And coked up, and rolling, and God knows what. I need to stop. Duh. You drugged me. You drugged me. I had fun, but you drugged me. You're my friend. Like warn a bitch. <laughs> trying to understand what what brings me to that point what brings me to the point of not even just having a bump of coke what makes me want to have line after line what makes me want to not just have one sip of a drink or one or two drinks why do I have to have five and it's destroying my life it's destroying my friendship I'm so fortunate to have you because what friend would sit down with someone after this happened to them and still showing love and concern for that that person? I fucked up. You did fuck up. This can't happen again. This isn't something that can happen again. I love you. I'm here. I'm telling you that, but that can't happen again. see somebody you need to get help I'm scared we're all scared that's not an excuse I can't believe I made it to this point, you know, I, I watched my father go through this, I watched my mother go through this shit, so many countless people from my high school died of overdose, and here I am, 15, 20 fucking years later, and I'm singing the same fucking tune, after I watched all those other people die, wither away, I thought I was escaping it, but no. It's fucking followed me everywhere. No matter where I go, this lurking cloud is above me. You're not good enough. You suck. You need to have a drink. You're fat. You're ugly. All the time. So yes, I am doing coke. Yes, I am drinking. Yes, I make poor fucking decisions that hurt my friends and hurt my family, and hurt myself. I don't know what else to do. Well, it can't be this. It can't be this shit anymore. I'm like, I just, I'm self-medicating. want to stop this fucking mental torture. It's fucking torture. 
walking around, hearing all fucking day. And then when I go to a party, and I just start drinking, and I start sniffing coke, and I fucking get lost in that whirlwind of party and stupidity, it's when I feel most at ease. But that's not real. And this is real. And this is real without you bringing me to that place with you. Yeah. Stop it. Those voices are you. You have this way of making it not that bad. No, girl, you're addicted to drugs and alcohol. It's pretty fucking bad. Yeah. Isn't that what they say at the meetings? They constantly have to say that they're addicts. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should start. Say it. I'm not fucking saying that. Say it loud. I'm not fucking say saying that. I'm not a fucking addict. I can fucking stop right now. Why don't we go to a fucking meeting, okay? I can just stop. Okay, then I'm stop. just gonna stop. Then just stop. Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried math? <laughs> Thank you.